Welcome to a new video in my home automation series. And uh, I mentioned previously that I've received this iHost uh, Smart uh, Hub from Sonoff. And um, I already made the first video and I realized that I want to do like a preview just to give um, like a brief summary of what this device is and how I'm planning to present this because there is going to be a lot uh, that can be said about this and probably it's going to uh, well it's definitely not going to fit into this uh, in just a single video and probably it's going to take some time for all the features to be you know reviewed and presented in various videos so first of all what this is i mean i, I said it's a smart hub so this is basically like a like the smart things hub or the ikea throat free center that you can uh, purchase or um, to some extent i would say this is like uh, like your home assistant box so that's the one which is your devices can talk to and this is what can you know control your devices so the big deal about this one is this does local control so this is supposed to control your all of your son of devices locally without using the cloud and in most cases even without using any internet and uh, Obviously, this is good news because, you know, if you have local control, you don't rely on the cloud. And I'm guessing it's also good for Sonoff because they don't have to run all those cloud services. If anyone, if everyone use an iHost, then, um, you know, they wouldn't need to spend money on, you know, running a whole cloud service. And uh, the local control is always quicker because they can access the devices locally. They don't have to communicate over the cloud. And not to mention that uh, I have received comments uh, from, you know, some of you guys who live in areas where, let's say, the internet connection is intermittent or it's very slow, then obviously you want to do something which you can control locally. So you're not relying on a potentially bad or let's say it could be expensive or intermittent uh, service. So these are all the things that this device is promised to deliver. And... Um, I mean, I, as the making of this video, I spent a limited time on this and I can already see that it does deliver most of these things. So it works as a Zigbee hub and you can create a Zigbee network and you can, you know, create rules within these Zigbee networks. So scenes, so you can, you know, your button can control your lights and, and your motion sensor can control the lights. And it works even if you disconnect the network cable. So this is truly local control but it can also control your Wi-Fi devices uh, locally. So again, just not that Zigbee, but like as you would expect with a, let's say a home assistant setup, that you have various sensors, Tasmota and other devices that you can control. So this all sounds good. Probably the only caveat and the reason I'm making this video because uh, it looks like Sonoff is trying to do the same approach as uh, to some extent it did with the NS Panel Pro that uh, when the product is launched, it gets launched with a good set of basic features, but not all the features that I advertise here. And I think they are trying to make it, uh, they are trying to be a little bit more transparent in this case, um, because they already mentioned the things that are available now and the things that are going to be available in the future. So probably it makes uh, sense to quickly review that. So you can also set your expectations. What are the things that, uh, you know, if you buy this product today, or well, not today, because as you can see, it's uh, um, uh, early uh, release. So the stock is only going to be available in the middle of May. Uh, so it's pre-order at the moment. So if you purchase it in May, there are going to be a set of features. But if you're looking for a specific feature, maybe you would have to wait until the end of the year or Q3 until that one gets released. So let's quickly go through this web page. And as you can see already, you have a couple of uh, different hardware options. So it would be possible to install plugin on these devices. And this is why the hardware option matters. And obviously at this point, it is really hard to tell, you know, whether you would need a two gigabyte version or the four gigabyte version. So the, uh, there is difference in memory, obviously. And I think this RV is probably the processor type, but I'm not exactly sure. So obviously the price changes if you select the smaller model or the bigger model. And yeah, there are a couple of options here for the, you know, some flash sale and early bird. So obviously 
there is an incentive for you to buy early, just like they did it for the NS Panel Pro. And you can buy all sorts of accessories. So the SD card is, a micro SD card is required for installing the plugins. And of course you get a bunch of Zigbee sensors that you can also purchase with it because, well, it is a Zigbee hub. And uh, just to go through these main features and a couple of, of these pictures. So it mentions like, you know, it's local control, it's fast and it is secure because all the information stays in there. And if you look at my first uh, review video, I actually tested by disconnecting this from anything and all the automations and the scenes still work. So they are definitely, well, at least in terms of if you only want a Zigbee network, it works without any connection uh, at all. And um, you see, uh, you know, a couple of examples of the peripherals, but I don't think it's important at the moment. Yes, you have some couple of buttons on the top, so you can control like the security feature and you can start initiate a pairing using a button. So you don't have to go into the web interface to do that. And you can see the various hardware options here. So as I mentioned, this RV is the, uh, the two type of processor and you get two different size of memory and of course different storage and you get Zigbee and Wi-Fi. So for example, at the moment, it only works on networks, so I haven't been able to configure the Wi-Fi. So I'm guessing that is also coming in a future version. So you have the local network as well. You also get the cast feature. So this is going to create be your hub, and then you can use an iPad or an old phone or something to create a, like a touch panel um, dashboard. Uh, for the devices and the things that you want to control. And I've done various videos on the, um, the EVLink cast and they seem to be using the same technology here. But again, everything is local and you can manage your devices locally. They already mentioned the devices that they support. So that's nice. It's not only sort of devices, but uh, other devices as well. But um, sort of expected that because this is how the NS Panel Pro works as well. And what I really want to go to is, well, this screen, because this contains a lot of interesting stuff here. So like uh, Tasmota and Node-RED and, you know, text-to-speech and other APIs. So this thing has a built-in speaker. So this could be used for text-to-speech. And so, again, I think this is the screen where you would expect some of these features to come in the future. Um, and yeah, you can see a couple of examples here how this can be used. Uh, for example, I'm not really sure how this LoRaWAN is going to work. Well, okay, so I know how LoRaWAN is going to work because LoRaWAN, so obviously it, it uses the WAN network to connect LoRa devices. And the Open API is something that I would be definitely interested in, but again, that's coming a little bit later. And then finally, we also have some roadmaps. So where this is where we are at the moment, so Q1. And so now we have all the Zigbee and uh, we also get a Zigbee topology map, which is not available, or at least I'm not seeing at the moment. So, okay, we are still in Q1, are we? Or are we in Q2? I'm not sure. And the TTS, again, I haven't seen the TTS yet. And then um, later on, we would have NS Panel Pro, you know, weather forecast and the Tazen Motor integration. And again, we will have cast feature upgrades and then support for EV-Link remote and then multi-language support. Okay, those are new, uh, nice stuff. And at the end of 2023, we should also have Matter support. So this is great stuff. I think Matter is probably coming for uh, other son of devices as well. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure, but maybe there was Matter logo on the NS Panel Pro as well. And then I guess the you know timeline for 2024 is is pretty much a guess. So you know edge AI and machine vision. I'm not sure what kind of um, scenarios they are planning for these, but yeah, this is something that could be coming in the future. So this is where we are at the moment. So uh, until sort of like the end of March, and I'm making these videos in the beginning of April. So that was the beta testing version. So now we are in the pre-order phase and then the shipment will start from April and May. So basically almost any point there this time. So I think that would be a really quick view. Hopefully I can get give you some ideas what uh, 
um, you know, how this device is going to work, what are the features, how it is going to be additional to a Sonoff network that you have already, or whether it's going to solve any particular issues that you have. As I said, you know, if you have network issues or uh, unreliable internet connection. And in terms of the video, so as I said, I already uh, created or recorded a basic, uh, well, a first look uh, where I looked at the the core Zigbee functionality. And now I'm in the process to reviewing some of the other features like integrating Wi-Fi devices as well, and then using the cast screen. And, um, and I think those would be the first couple of videos that I have in mind. And I think by that time, I probably exhausted all the features that are in the current firmware. So obviously, if the new firmware version comes around, then I will be creating new videos, just as I did for the NS Panel Pro and the NS Panel as well. So I think that will be the roadmap for me in terms of the iHost. If you are interested in this device, I'm going to leave links to this uh, website that we have just seen, so you can place an order, or like a pre-order at the moment, or if you are watching this video a little bit later on, probably this is going to be in, you know, general sale anyway. So I think that will be all for today. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you next video.